So hello everyone, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to episode 7 of Living with the Saint series and uh, we're now on the third and the last saint from France, okay? Uh, the first four saints we discussed were from Poland and we discussed this is the third saint from France and today we're going to discuss about Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. She was born uh, from her parents Louise and Zelie Martin on January 2, 1873 uh, in Alencon, France. At the age of 15, she was able to join the Carmelite convent in Lisieux. And there's so many things that I could share about Saint Therese of the Child Jesus that is not, not enough in a five minute video. So I highly encourage you to read the, her autobiography entitled The Story of a Soul. And uh, there are three things that we could learn from uh, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. One is her childlikeness, and it has to do with her little way. Okay, and in her little way, she quoted that it is to recognize our nothingness, to expect everything from God, as a little child expects everything from its father. It also said that believing oneself capable of anything, while never becoming discouraged over failures. Okay, for children fall often, but they are too little to hurt themselves very much okay so we see her in her uh, little way also her humility and her great uh, confidence in god saint therese also once said that i wish to find an elevator which raises me to jesus for i am too small to climb the rough stairway of perfection okay and she was able to find that elevator in Jesus. She also said that we can never have too much confidence in our good Lord. That's why she was able to abandon herself totally to divine providence. Okay. So the, the other thing that we could learn from uh, St. Therese is her vocation to love. And uh, she was not satisfied with her vo vocation being a spouse of Jesus, a Carmelite nun, and also a mother of the soul. She also would like to be a soldier, a priest, an apostle, a doctor of a church, and a martyr. And, uh, but finally, she was able to find her vocation. She said this, at last I found my vocation. In the heart of the church, I will be loved. Okay, so beautiful. Uh, another thing that we could learn from Saint, uh, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus is her mission. Okay, what was her mission? She said that to make God love will begin after my death. Okay. She also said that I will spend my heaven doing good on earth. I will let fall a shower of roses. And I know of stories of people uh, have shared to me that you know they receive, receive a sign from Saint Therese that her their prayers were answered when they receive flowers, roses. Okay. Uh, also, when when she joined uh, the Carmelites uh, at the age of 14, uh, she was asked by the Mother Superior what was her mission. And this, was, this is what she said. She said that, uh, I, I came to save souls and especially to pray for priests. And um, in her autobiography, you would see that uh, there were uh, priests and seminarians that were assigned uh, to her so that she could pray for them. That's why for me, when I was uh, in the seminary, I also asked her to pray for my vocation. And I also took her as my big sister. Okay. And uh, another book that I would like to recommend you to read is The 33 Days to Merciful Love by Father Michael Gately. Uh, there, uh, St. Therese uh, offered herself as a victim uh, to merciful love, okay? And, uh, and she composed this act of oblation to merciful love, which is so beautiful uh, to really read, okay? So she died on... Uh, September 30, 1897, at the age of 24, she was canonized on May 17, 1925, and her feast day is on October 1st. JP, Pope John Paul II once said that St. Therese is one of the great saints of modern times. In 1997, she was declared Doctor of the Church. Okay. And uh, so let's imitate her great virtues of her childlikeness, her little way, her humility, uh, and uh, her great confidence in God, and also her vocation to love. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.